Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. All right, folks, we got Pretty Bayou getting ready for a fishing trip with Captain Michael Cowart. Got a new boat here. And Captain Michael Cowart, good morning. Hey, good morning. You ready to roll, buddy? We're ready. I got some fish waiting on us. All right, we're excited. We're about to jump in and go. You don't work it in, you just reel it? I just reel it in. If I feel like I'm getting a bump, I kind of just hop it slightly. And you got to wait for them to load up on it and then make sure you set the hook on there because they'll, they'll pull that out. These J hooks? Yeah. And they, they got, those rippers got a tough mouth, so they will pull that hook. Got it. You got one? All right, all right. We got it. We got first Where's one your camera, on. Weston? Where's your camera? Oh, wait, we got a double. Ken's got one. I like this. A double hook up. It's not bad. It's a good one. I ah. still got him all. He popped out over here. We're going to get he, was one a, of them. he was a good fish. Oh, beautiful redfish. One in the mouth and one on the side. He's going around the right side. Find him over there. Come back around here. All right. That's, that's what we're looking for. Right? Nice one. That's what we're looking for right there. I yeah. apologize for losing mine. That's okay. All right, we got one of them. We got a nice one. Excellent job, Mike. Look at there. That's, that's just something pretty about a redfish. <laughs> nice, and nice spots. How many spots? Look at those spots. Look at four on that side and five on this side. <laughs> You would like that in time. Maybe a little bit bigger, but I'll take this one to start with. Most important part is right here. Boom. There you go. There you go. We're going to get him another day. All right. Got Ken, Ken got one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What I'll do is I'll just hop it real slow, kind of like you're fishing one. A little trap. The bass fisherman. Right you made one more run. Come back this way. Come out under the boot. Come on out under the boot. He do not want to get in the net, does he? He surely doesn't. Ain't nothing to this. Ain't nothing to it, is it, Ken? <laughs> Just like catching bass. Salt water bass fishing, huh? Salt water bass. Look at that gold spoon. Copper spoon. Yeah, old they copper do, spoon. They do pull better than a speckled trout, though. That's a little one. Yeah. Pretty fish. It got blue spots, tail. multiple spots on it. Look at that blue tail. That's beautiful. Back on. That new door over there. Yeah, that's over behind him. Always over behind him. Yeah. All right. There he is. There he is. Oh, listen, you got him? I got him on. You keep rolling. Right. He barely got him hooked on the lip. That old bass fisherman, he can net and there you go. There you go. <laughs> Bring in that red bass. <laughs> we got a few out in front of us. Oh, we're doubled up. He's on. You still got I think it's a fight. Watch out here. I, he hooked up. He hooked up. And when he hooked up, I'm hey, going to hey, fall on me. You got it. Well, I don't know. It's going to be tough days. Not about trout. All right, Michael. Seaman TRD. Speckling trout. We got redfish and trout mixed in here together. They all mixed up. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a lot of... Uh, bait, a lot of mullet, as well as a lot of stingrays in here. It's always a good sign having life. If you're fishing somewhere that's like a desert out there, a lot of times you're not really doing anything right. And what are you fishing with, Michael? This is a Z-Man Big TRD. A lot of the bass guys fish with these, and they're known for the finesse TRD. But this looks just like a like one of those mud worms or all the stuff that lives in the mud and the grass. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it looks just like a little bait sticking up with rig it on these 
yeah, this weighted grip pin hook, and it just kind of darts around, and the tail is buoyant, so it'll stick up like that and catch a lot of redfish and a lot of trout on it. And the folks at Z-Man love it because this bait is meant for bass, and we're catching redfish on it, so they're getting two for one. <laughs> So it, it's a lot of times you get a clear sky like this, clear water, a lot of sun. That gold spoon will deter the fish, especially the bigger fish are a little bit smarter. It's just too much going on. Mm -hmm. That copper spoon is muted a little bit, so it doesn't spook them quite as bad. So it's a it's a good choice on a day whenever it's not overcast, no clouds, mm -hmm. crystal clear water. You get dirty water, you can break out the bright gold spoon, but crystal clear water like this, a lot of times it'll scare them away. That's a little bit better fish. Got a power pole down. Yeah, we're in a good spot here. This is a little bigger, Michael. It's a little bit bigger than that last little trout I caught. That's for sure. We're making a run the boat right now. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's all real. Nice little red fish right there. We got some spots on the one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, pretty one. First and drag out, wouldn't he? Oh yeah. First two feet of the cast. It's always that's why I say cast as far as you can. Because if I would have cast it five feet shorter, I wouldn't have got this fish. Okay. Good fish. All right. Pretty fish. I sure want a good bass while they're doing that. <laughs> That's when you set up for a talk sale. All right, in the top of the mouth. Yep, sure did. Got a good hook set, so I gotta have a sharp hook. Dull hook may have lost that fish. But there's your red fish. Mm hmm. Nice. I'm going to let him go. Grow a little bigger. Maybe win some money off this one one day. <laughs> They're just mixing here with these mullet. It's a saltwater largemouth bass right there. <laughs> Body tail bass. Get out of the grave. Come on. Come on. Don't let him go. He, don't, he just don't know that. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, you scared the boat, but come on over. Come on over. He don't know we're going to let him go, does he? <laughs> he don't know yet. I'll just put a in one day. Come on, fish. Beautiful. Yeah. He's got two on this side. Uh -huh. It's all over his tail. Look at that. One on the side. All right, we're hooked up. Look at that. Hey, right right big one him. Right Look at that. Bigger than he is. Look. Look at that one falling on him. Y'all throw right behind me. I'm behind you. Just gonna okay, get right. Pull it. You see him? Look at that. Is that a big trout? That's a big trout following him. Yeah. Oh man, he's spooked. That was a big trout. That was a big old trout trying to take the bait out of that redfish's mouth. Yeah. Now, if you hadn't seen that before. That was cool. Dude. Yeah, well, sometimes it, uh, Oh, you got it. Good one, Mike. Mike used to fly fishing for brim down in Weewaw on the Cipola. Look at here. Yes, sir. Oh, that's nice fish. Pretty fish. Let me get this boat on. Yes, sir. All right, Mike. Come here. Bottom lip. Come here, Mike Bush. I ain't seen nothing yet. I don't believe you got a fish. <laughs> Ken, don't believe you. I think it's a big fish. Not bad. Now I see you. You see him? Oh yeah. We got plenty of spots on there. 
Look at the spots on this one. Yes, sir. Look at the spots. Pretty fish. Oh, that catch one I got on that seven foot fast action bass rod. <laughs> you had them hooked good, too. So now look at the spots. All right. Yeah, let's see. This side's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this side right here, we got four and eight on this side. 15 spots. They're all unique. Oh. You look like you got a little redfish on. A little red. Go ahead and power pole down. There he is, that's a little red. Right here. Alright. Nice one. A little redfish on the copper spoon. Bye right, fellas, we had a great trip. Thank you. Thank you for Michael. Everything. Good job. Thank you, Michael, so much. Mike Bush, Ken, you have a good time? You How does this compare to bass fishing? Uh, don't ask that question, Coach. <laughs> it's, just, it's just saltwater bass fishing. Okay, uh, how about how does it compare to fly fishing, Brim? Yeah, they pull a little bit harder. They do? <laughs> All right, anytime people want to book you, Michael, what, what's your number? How do they get a hold of you? 850 850-532-0232. Or you can send me an email at shallowtailsadventures at gmail.com. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.